Syria has been impacted by the earthquake that struck Turkey. With me is the Syrian ambassador mm -hmm. to talk about uh, uh, the situation in the country. So welcome uh, to Beyond. It is a, a solemn moment and it is something that the world is closely watching. If you can talk to our views as to what is the current situation on the ground in uh, the areas which have been most impacted by the earthquake. I wouldn't talk about much details because everybody is watching what's going on there. But I'm just trying to say that it's a humanistic disaster. So humanity should understand that this is the time to be with Syria. This is the time to be with the Syrian people. This is the time to send and render humanistic assistance because people there are suffering. Mm -hmm. We still have people under the ruins. Because no relevant assistance has come in this regard. Mm -hmm. We need trucks, we need excavators, we need such heavy duty equipment. Mm -hmm. But what compensates this is the people there. Uh, yesterday I had a kind of communication with my prime minister. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, when it comes to the level of Syrian people, we have no problem. Mm -hmm. We will pass it. Even the most affected areas are sending assistance to other Syrian affected areas. Mm -hmm. This is the family. Mm -hmm. He told me that a general, this is a high ranking in the Syrian army, mm -hmm. when the field situation was deteriorating, he drove the truck. He was helping people himself. He drove the, the truck and his deputy uh, try to uh, operate the excavator. Mm -hmm. The situation is not stable mm -hmm. because we need help. Mm -hmm. The situation with the bad weather, it's snowing, it's raining, it's very cold. There is lack of electricity. There is lack of a fuel. I'm quite sure that you have heard that the <laughs> American troops are stealing the Syrian oil in the northeast of Syria. But we are doing all our best with our family, the Syrian people. Mm -hmm. uh, so you talked about the assistance, uh, heavy uh, vehicles, trucks are needed. So have you reached out to the international community for the heavy equipment to, uh, to be involved in the relief and rescue operations? Actually, my brother, our appeal to the international community, as you call it, is to be with Syria in the way relevant or appropriate for the people really believing in sending assistance. Mm -hmm. We are not going to ask, we want to blah, blah, blah. The mm -hmm. appeal is we need medicine. We need medical equipment. Mm -hmm. We need fast food for people. We need uh, milk for children. Mm -hmm. And we need something like generators to uh, have uh, some energy, some power to make people feel warm or to have some light. Mm -hmm. The uh, I mean, the heavy trucks and equipments are urgently needed, but this does not mean that we will ask for this only. Mm -hmm. Help is help. A humanitarian assistance is a humanitarian assistance. The form or the shape is not the bigger question. Mm -hmm. Help is help. Uh, India has also sent uh, help. Uh, we saw the, uh, the plane leaving for Syria uh, with the support. So. If you can talk about the Indian support, uh, how do you see India's help in your time of need? The Indian help already sent to people. Mainly the Indian help was medicines. We have been discussing this. Medical equipment and the things that our relevant authorities asked for. Mm -hmm. But India is an old friend. Mm -hmm. India is a family. That's why we are having communication right now, myself with the relevant authorities, mainly the brothers at the Ministry of External Affairs, is planning to send the next plane soon. Mm -hmm. Now there is a slight change of the uh, materials. Now we have asked for more generators if possible. We want milk, mm -hmm. powder milk, and we want fast food for people if possible. Mm -hmm. In all cases, we are doing all our best to receive what brothers in India, people and government, mm -hmm. and to send it back to Syria. Mm -hmm. It's all needed. Mm -hmm. All needed, but will you be keen also for Indian teams uh, 
Indian uh, defense personnel uh, who can come and perhaps help in evacuation. We have seen the Indian defense personnel. In fact, the Indian defense team in Turkey is one of the largest one when it comes to on the ground supporting Turkey in the relief and rescue operation. So my question is, will you be keen to have Indian defense personnel in your country for relief and rescue operations? For me, I'm not uh, uh, saying that yes or no. But I'm quite sure that the Indian side, whatever we ask for, is ready to respond, mm -hmm. including any uh, details you are talking about. Mm -hmm. I have not received from my capital mm -hmm. a very specific request in this regard, mm -hmm. but I confirm for you, for the media, that our impression and our satisfaction that India is ready to send the help we need. Mm -hmm. Send the help uh, you need, but... Uh, uh, sir, do you think the sanctions, the Western sanctions on your uh, government, on your country, is going to impact the humanitarian support that your country desperately needs right now? The answer is absolutely yes. It's such sanctions is the main reason of the suffering of the Syrian people. Some Western countries, they think that with such sanctions, they are attacking the Syrian government. The formula is totally different, is totally simple. Mm -hmm. Such sanctions are the reason of suffering of Syrian people in the streets. Mm -hmm. It's not the government only. Mm -hmm. The government is a part of the Syrian people. Mm -hmm. But the main side, having an escalation of suffering, is the Syrian people. Mm -hmm. And the main reason behind this is such sanctions. Mm. Coercive, hard, mm. tough, stupid. Mm -hmm. Because if you are a human being, mm -hmm. you will understand that the human beings, they have some needs. Mm -hmm. And if you are behind the decision to deprive them of such humanistic assistance, this means that you have an intention to do so. Mm -hmm. So frankly speaking, yes, mm -hmm. such sanctions are the worst thing to handle and to consider if we are talking about humanistic assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, international community uh, have been providing support. So if you can give a picture of how many countries have reached out to you in your time of need in terms of the number of countries and what they have sent, if you can talk about that. We have talked about India, but if you can talk about other countries as well. A friend indeed is a friend in need. This earthquake is a kind of experience to understand. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, all friends that we have considered friends proved to be good friends, including India. Mm -hmm. Others who play the uh, political games, mm -hmm. they also proved to be skillful in playing political games. Mm -hmm. The result is, Syrian people, they can understand well what's going on. Mm. We don't want statements. Mm. We are not that naive to be cheated by some statements. Mm -hmm. We are judging the realities. Mm -hmm. It was only a question of short time when the Indian plane left for Damascus. And I hope it will not be a long time to the second plane to go to Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, so my last question to you is, uh, your president uh, uh, has been traveling to the uh, quake hit areas, if you can talk about his visits and uh, essentially the number of casualties as well, the world would like to know uh, the number of people who have been impacted as well from this devastating earthquake. For the first part of the question, the moment we heard about the earthquake, uh, President Bashar al-Assad held a wide conference for all the authorities in Syria responsible and related uh, to such a situation to handle the crisis. Then, if you know about the uh, way how he, he thinks, His Excellency thinks, uh, the moment he received his position as a president, he was well known. He simply drives his, cars, his car and goes even without God mm -hmm. to people. The, what he did uh, yesterday is going to check his people and to talk to them mm -hmm. and to ask about the realities in the field. Mm -hmm. And he instructed all relevant authorities, please go 
be with your people, and I'm following everything. Mm-hmm. For numbers, I wouldn't go in uh, the question of numbers, because frankly speaking, I wouldn't be that uh, honest to tell you that this is the number. Now they, we are uh, in a difficult situation. Many buildings have not been handled yet mm-hmm. due to many reasons, and some people are still under the ruins. Mm-hmm. We are doing all our best, 24 hours a day, mm-hmm. and we hope we will ba- pass this difficult situation mm-hmm. soon mm-hmm. with the help of real friends, once again, like India. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to Vion and uh, our condolences uh, in the aftermath of the impact of the earthquake impact on your country, something that has been devastating and shocking to the world. Thank you so much, sir. I need to say the last word. Please, as a family, as a historical friend and uh, as a country that, have, that has always a good relation with Syria, help us lift the bad sanctions imposed on Syria. Syrian people deserve a better dealing and a better handling of the situation. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for speaking to Vion. With video journalist Ajit Sadhan for Vion at the Syrian Embassy in Delhi.